So, number 17 from the book says, distance between two ships. Two ships leave a port at the same time. The first ship sails on a bearing of 40 degrees at 18 knots, nautical miles per hour, and the second on a bearing of 130 degrees at 26 knots. How far apart are they after 1.5 hours? Okay, fine. I have a port, P. I have two ships leaving the same port. One of them leaves on a bearing of 40 degrees. So they're using method one. How do I know it's method one and not method two? Because in method two, they'd have to tell me north, south, whichever way. If they just say the degrees, that means I'm just going off zero straight ahead. So then I would just measure out clockwise, whatever the bearing is. So in this case, it's 40 degrees. So 40 degrees, if I measure out 40 degrees from here, I don't know, maybe about there. So that angle is 40 degrees. Okay, so that's my first ship went this way. So I'll call you ship one. And then I had a second ship that left on a bearing of 130 degrees. So left the same port. But he went 130 degrees. So there would be 90. So 130 is maybe about here-ish. I don't know. So there's my ship two. A hundred and thirty degrees is this angle from here all the way to here. That's a hundred and thirty. Well, if that's forty, then what would leave this part to be? If this whole thing is one thirty. But that, that's 90. So look, I have my 90 degree angle pretty easily this time. And the whole thing is asking me how far apart are the two ships. So I'll be looking for that. So let me erase this 130 because it's making my diagram a little bit too cluttered. Well, you can't find the side of this triangle at all until you have something about the other sides. Oh, but wait, remember they told me something about the speed. The first ship was sailing at 18 knots. The second ship was sailing at 26 knots. How far apart are they after 1.5 hours? So I just have to take each boat speed, 18 times an hour and a half. The first boat went 27 miles. And then the second boat went uh, 26 knots for an hour and a half. So he went 39 miles. So this guy went 27 miles this way. This guy went 39 miles this way. And now I'm trying to figure out how far apart the two boats are. Since it's a right triangle, I can do that. Pythagorean theorem again. So I'll do 27 squared plus 39 squared equals x squared. And I should be able to solve relatively easily. I get... Uh, 47.43. If I'm going to round for sig figs, I'd have... See, I never knew if you're supposed to include the degrees. I guess not. Because the 40 degrees only has one sig fig. But according to the answer, you don't count degrees. So the other numbers have two sig figs, so they go out to 47. Are we okay there-ish? Let's see if we can get through one more before lunch, or maybe start it at least. 18. Another one. Yeah, what? Instead of 18? 23? Sure. So let's set up 23. The bearing from A to C is south 52 east. From A to C. So let's put a point A somewhere. And then C is south 52 east. So let me start off with a north-south line through A. All right. A to C, south 52 east. So in the south direction... I want to go 52 degrees off this line 
in the east direction. So that means I'll be about over here. And this is the angle that they're referring to, which is 52. So there's the bearing from A to C, south 52 east. The bearing from A to B, so I'm going back to A, and now if I want to get from A to B, I'd have to go north 84 east. So north direction, 84 degrees in the east direction, so maybe B is about there. That's 84. Is that okay so far? All right. Uh, the, bearing from, uh, the bearing from A to B is that. The bearing from B to C now. So if I want to go from B to C, I need to go south 38 west. Now, if you had put your point B a little bit too short, it wouldn't make any sense. Like if you had put your point B there, then C would be in the east direction and it's supposed to be in the west. So if you end up encountering something like that, just make this guy longer so that it kind of jives with your diagram. And mine kind of does, so I got lucky here. So to get from B to C, I wanna go 38 degrees south in the west direction. So that tells me this angle right here is 38. So this is a tricky diagram to establish from the jump, right? But I have it, okay, I have A, B, and C. Do I have any of the side lengths? Let's see. A plane flying at 250 miles per hour takes two and a half hours to go from A to B. So I know A to B, so let's do 250 times 2.4. That means between A and B is 600 miles. Now, I literally have no idea which of these three angles is the right angle. Because none of them look like a 90 degree angle. Obviously, nothing's drawn to scale. If I had drawn it to scale, someone would look like a 90 degree angle. But I didn't. So I had to be able to figure it out. Well, I do have some info. Look right here. See this north-south line? Don't these angles have to add up to be 180? Right, because don't they make a straight line? And I have 84 and 52, so let's do 180 minus those. That's 44. So I don't have my 90 degree angle, but at least I have an angle. Okay, that's cool. Oh, we'll finish the rest after lunch.